Describe yourself with one word. Hungry. Well, I'm hoping to be the CEO of a very successful company uh, called Reina Media. This is actually my startup company that I started a couple of weeks ago. I don't know, that, that's what I hope to be, a very successful entrepreneur who has his own successful company. So what is Reina Media? Reina Media is a media slash marketing company who creates content for small to medium sized businesses and small organizations to pretty much increase revenue, increase sales, increase attention, awareness, traffic, whatever fancy marketing name that you want to put on it. Uh, we pretty much just create awareness for brands, for smaller companies that don't have the money to pay you know, millions of dollars for advertising. I don't like to sleep. As much as I complain that I'm tired, and that I'm sleepy and all, all that. I hate sleeping because when I sleep, I feel lazy and I feel like I'm not doing enough. The world of entrepreneurship and the markets are unforgiving. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about whether you feel like doing it that particular day or not. The markets don't give a shit. <laughs> um, if you don't work, you know, you're gonna get eaten up. In five years from now, I see myself still not sleeping, still working really hard. Um, by then, I'll be what? I'll be 25. I'll still be fairly young. Um, I'll see myself doing the same thing. Grinding, working on either Reina Media, if it takes off, or working on some other kind of company that I have, that I have dreams about and that I want to make happen. Comfort zone. A lot of people will say, no, I'm comfortable. Like, and No, it's all bullshit. Everybody has a comfort zone. What, differs is people's ability to get out of that comfort zone but my comfort zone honestly I'm a pretty big introvert if I had the choice or if I had the ability to like never talk to strangers again I wouldn't like I truly would not I would stick to the people that I know and I would stay in my room and just fucking eat like cheese pops all day um, so I would say that I definitely do have a comfort zone but when I need to I, I can step out of it. Now, so, something something that actually crosses my mind a lot. A lot of people do a lot of things for money. And, and I firmly believe in my nature, I truly, truly believe that if you're doing something for money, you're gonna fail. And you're gonna fail big time. For me, it's never been about the money. Of course, I want to have money in order to provide for my family and to give them things that I never had and to give money away to people who truly need it. But my drive is not the money. My, my drive is what I can do with that money for others and how I can impact others with money to be able to provide things for them that maybe they didn't have access to. Things like having a scholarship fund for kids who simply really can't afford to go to college. Um, setting up like an anonymous donor thing to where people submit their stories and I'm able to give a percentage of my money away to them. Um, people who can't pay their hospital bills can email me and say, hey, you know, I hear that you do this thing. I just got my hospital bill for $200,000. I, I make $30,000 a year. I don't know what to do. And to be able to pay that for them it's those kind of things that I want to be remembered for. I want to give it away. I want to pay it forward. I want to be a mentor. I want to be a philanthropist. I want to be a giver. All of those people out there that are depending on me, I don't. maybe I don't know them yet. Maybe they haven't even been born yet, but I know there are hundreds of people out there that are counting on me to get this shit done and to get the job done right. And, and that's what drives me. Tell me about your mom. My mom is an incredibly strong, willed woman who doesn't take no for an answer she supports me to this day um, and I love her to death I mean there, there's not a single thing that I would not do for that woman make a, a, a poem about a disco ball in less than four lines disco ball how I fall 
how I want to crawl. <laughs> um, <laughs> surrounded by the dolls. I think that's a band. It would make sense, I think. I'm pretty positive. <laughs> Thank you.